Okay, so I was sitting here thinking that maybe I cannot do these right now. So I'm going to just leave that alone. I probably need like a spell or like something. But for now, those are out of the question. Still trying to figure out how to get these doors unlocked. But Revelio. I have no idea. I know the one up there. I see the lock from here. But there's so many that I have no idea how to get to them. And I think this was the last mission we had to do. So I'm guessing that now we can actually just go back to the school. Well, I got to return to him first too. Level 30. Man, I can't believe I took on a mission for level 30. I'm not even going to worry about this right now. What does that mean, using simultaneously? Because I did use them, but was it did it not work? I feel like I'm so overleveled for these missions, but I think it has to do with me doing all the side missions that's helping me out a lot. Because I'm at level 16, and those missions are like level 8. So... Let's see. No, I have to go here. This is my first stop and I got to go back here. So maybe we can fast travel here. Let's meet. Here I come. We did the whole exploring thing now, so we don't have to walk around so much now. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Nothing to worry about. I handled it. Glad to hear it. And thank you again for your help. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. By the way, I found this book of potion recipes in Kingbridge. Might it be useful to you? Is this Fatima's recipe book? Oh, I had no idea it was hers. Some things are sacred amongst potioneers. I shall return it to her immediately. So we got that done. Level 8? No. I was about to say level 7. How have I not got this? There we go. We got it now, so... Rebellion. Man, all these doors are locked. Driving me crazy. The fact that I cannot open these. Something going on here too. Oh, it's one of those picture frames. But where could that butterfly be at? Rebellion. Hmm. So weird. Okay, so let's go back to the school. Uh, no. I gotta go do this one. Because that one's already finished, so... We could just go back and talk to him, so he is way out here. Fast travel there.
Let him know we got his stuff. And we should be good to go. At this point, I'm just closing up all the missions I finished up and... Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billywigs things. You got them? Incredible. Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant. Can't wait to get started. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. I'll probably know when he blows something up or there's fireworks going around. Honestly. Revelio. Alright, level 17, we got a point. Incendio. Still don't know what the whole point of this Rebellion. statue is. Okay, what do we got here? I mean, I don't even have the spells for this. I thought I had them, but I don't know what happened. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I thought I used it, but must have not done it right. So we're going to go meet up with Sebastian. And see what he wants. Because I can't even get that. That mission done for the professor. If I don't have the potions. And they were not. Never mind. I guess it did work. No. It didn't. It's right here. Yeah, I don't see why it didn't work. And we also got this one. So we got these two we can go to. So I'll go ahead and do those. And then maybe probably go buy some more potions, I guess. Because for some reason it didn't work. Why is this one off? So weird. I do remember going down there though. So wait a minute. We're going this way. We have been here, so I don't think I've missed anything around here. I mean I remember some parts, but I could still get lost running around here somewhere. Revelio. I feel like there's something here. I don't know why. Over here. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment. In the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. There's Yo, a secret guy's... passage just here. It's well disguised. How are these students finding out about all these passages, man? So it's just me going down. How did you find this place? 
My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play golf stones here at the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. This looks like a doorway for some reason. Revelio. It has to be a doorway. There's no other. It just looks like out of place here. Let's go talk to him and then that's probably like the way out of here or something. I know Ominous. Met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how though. Ominous was born blind and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic, but you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Right on, bro. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Let's go, Sebastian. Yo, that that's my boy. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the target. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candles. Which one is it? This one? Yo. Okay, let's go. Let's put that there and then. We'll put. We got Lumos there, so that's fine. Yeah, we'll leave it like that. Both have um, their uses. But I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. That's oh, it. This feels nice. I think I've got it. Well done. Yo. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo. We singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. 
I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. I mean, I need to be cool with him, you know? He needs to teach me other spells that I really want to learn. So... I guess we can tell him. I don't think he'll tell... I don't think he'll say anything. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... I, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curse is in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head I... to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. I got it, bro. Good finger! Yo, I'm about to start killing some people with this. Oh man, this is gonna be so useful for like the spiders and everything. Yo. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, uh, hello, Ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Actually, Sebastian brought me there, but he made it perfectly clear to keep quiet about it. That rat! You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the Headmaster, and I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Bro, who is this guy? Man, I should blast him, bro. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. Why should I trust you? You just betrayed Sebastian. Please. I was trying to defend him. He was clear that this was a secret place, and I was to tell no one. He's a good friend. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Hey, bro. You better not tell him, all right? Oh, he can't see. He's blind. Was that the... Was that the wrong answer? Like, if he knew, like... Ugh, man. I feel like I messed that up. We'll see what happens. 
I guess we can go ahead and do this one. Like, it, it, I, I told him because, I mean, he knows about it too, right? So it's like a secret between all of us. So I didn't think it mattered, but he got really mad about it. Maybe it was like a 50-50? I don't know. We'll see what happens. My mother sent me a howler after I got the call. I'm trying to look for those statues. I have a feeling that if I shoot this at it. No. Never mind. That doesn't do anything. So I'm lost. Again. Professor Weasley. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me, and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. All right, so a new spell, so... Here we go. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. All right, so I think I'm going to equip it. Oh, man. Back here, and then we'll equip this here. Right? No, it wasn't that one. It was this one. Kind of keep these that help me out for like puzzles in one slot and then all my attacking in this spot. Kind of sort everything out somehow. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Interesting. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't 
can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Oh, Rebellion. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Right, so I guess we're just gonna explore here. There's so much stuff here, though. Hold on. Akia. Why is this movable? We could go there. What's up here? Interesting. Akia. Oh, I'm actually able to jump that. I didn't know that. I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Well, the more you know. Revelio. No, oh, not uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Yo, there's so much stuff here. Revelio. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? I know, right? What was that? Oh, there's was one that of those a golden keys. snitch? Perhaps you should summon your Akia. To find out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where'd it go? Where'd that key go? Akio. Okay, so that that ain't working. I'm hoping I can find that key. We hope that house elf can find us in here. Oh, he's up there. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. 
You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes, imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. Revelio. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Oh, I do have some. Oh, let's go. Let's see what we got. Nice. Okay, so we always have to come back here and then... You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Oh, that is nice. Let me see. Well, that's locked. Level 18, I'm not there yet. Yo. This, these glasses are not that bad. I'm gonna go with these. But you won't be able to see them. We're gonna make it look like we don't got nothing going on here. What else did we get? There's no way that's all we got. Well, I guess it is. Yo, that is awesome. Now we got this whole room here. Nice. 